Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the G.I. Joe Retro Collection Duke figure. Here he is in packaging. As you can see, he is a blister carded figure um, with an oversized bubble, bubble so you can see all of his accessories right there up top. Um, the classic artwork there on the left hand side. On the back, the obnoxiously large file card, um, the cross cell for all the other, uh, a lot of the other figures available in the retro line, and uh, a whole bunch of legal stuff there at the bottom. So that's about all I gotta say about the packaging. Here is the figure himself. First and foremost, we are gonna have a look at the file card. Now, normally I would ask you to read this yourself, but there's so little information on here because it's multilingual. I'll just read it for you. Uh, basically, it says Duke, Hauser Conrad S, role for a sergeant, primary specialty, airborne infantryman, secondary specialty, artillery, small arms, armor, birthplace, St. Louis, Missouri, uh, graduated top of his class at airborne school, command, commands by winning respect. And that's all it says about Duke. Um, that's a waste of cardboard right there because I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's huge for one thing, as you can see, I mean, the original file card was smaller, had much bigger print and a hell of a lot more information on it. This is all just laziness on Hasbro's part. If they just, I'm, I sound like a broken record, but if they, if they just, you know, ah, <sighs> Never mind. All right, so anyway, here is Duke. And first and foremost, Duke comes with his figure stand. Let's get him standing on his own. His figure stand says G.I. Joe there, has two foot pegs, says Duke right there in the front. And copyright 2007 Hasbro. So this is the original mold that we've been getting for all these years. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, figure also comes with this sidearm, which as you saw, fits nicely in his, uh, holster. Not too bad. Um, it comes with this G.I. Joe rifle. I say G.I. Joe rifle because we've gotten this, different versions of this numerous times with Duke and other figures over the years. He has this helmet, which fits pretty snugly on his head. Whoops. It does not have holes on the side, however. Those appear to be uh, mold um, nubs, or possibly maybe just molded on dots, but there, th those aren't uh, functional holes as far as I'm concerned for like a visor or anything. Um, and now let's have a closer look at the figure himself. This is the uh, the War Face Duke from uh, Full Metal Jacket. Show me your War Face, ah! You know, um, he's got the harness for a jetpack, but it, he didn't come with one. Um, if you saw on, on the card itself, the figure is depicted with the bandolier that we're more traditionally used to seeing on Duke. He also has binoculars, which he didn't come with and a backpack. He's also missing the American flag on his arm. Not the best version of Duke out there, um, but that goes almost without saying at this point. I mean, it, it's pretty common knowledge. Um, let's do the articulation now. His head is uh, on a ball joint and do a full 360. Point his head slightly up, slightly down tilt slightly from side to side but not really much um, arms flatten out do a full 360 can go up a pretty decent amount there uh, nothing at the bicep oh yeah we'll get to that in a second <laughs> um, elbows can flatten out and bend just about 90 degrees they also rotate there at the elbow joint um, there is no wrist articulation instead it's at the forearm here and as you saw mine, I don't know if it's mold degradation or not, but mine come unplugged very easily. 
nothing else at the wrist, so there is no bend, unfortunately. Um, torso, decent range of motion there. Kick his legs up about that high, which is not that great. Back about that far. Splits about like that. Double jointed knees. Can kick his heel back about that far. Um, full rotation there at the ankle. He can also point his toes all the way down and a decent way up. Not, not too much, but enough. Um, all in all, it's not a great version of Duke. Um, but again, you know, that shouldn't come as any surprise to you. Um, size comparison. There he is with a vintage G.I. Joe. As you can see, he's noticeably taller. Same can be said. Come on, stand up straight. Same can be said for vintage collection Luke Skywalker. Um, here he is next to a Boss Fight Studio Blank. Scales pretty well with him. Uh, Marvel Universe Captain America. And last but not least, uh, Master Chief, who is 118th scale. So, all in all, it's not the best Duke out there. If, if you're new to collecting this scale and you want a Duke, he is on the pegs right now. Um, but he ain't my favorite, I'll be honest with you. Um, he's okay. Definitely has some issues and, uh, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, uh, this has been AV. This has been my review of the Retro Collection Duke. Um, leaves a little bit to be desired. He's not the, the worst figure in the world, but still. Um, anyway, if you like this video, check out my channel where I have reviews of a whole bunch of other 118 scale figures, vehicles, and accessories. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.